Hello and welcome to this presentation of Excel to Sage. My name is Aaron Marchirosian and I'm going to show you how to import sales and purchase invoices from Excel into Sage. Um, Excel to Sage is basically a Swiss army knife for importing things into Sage and at the moment it covers about 35 transactions which are, are pretty much all the day-to-day -day transactions that you're likely to need from purchase orders, sales orders, product invoices, service invoices, credit notes, all sorts of things including bank. Uh, the difference between the Excel Sage import and the standard Sage import is that we actually group all the lines for a multi-line invoice onto the same import. And I'll show you that in a second. Uh, Excel Sage can also be automated, so it's ideal for integrating and automating things from e-commerce sites like eBay, Amazon, Shopify, or your web shopping cart. And there's a free trial available, so I'd uh, invite you to go and just download one and have a play with yourself. So let's have a look at this in action. So we're going to try and import some um, uh, transactions into the uh, supplier's account and into the customer's account. This is done from an Excel spreadsheet. So here's the Excel spreadsheet. And on that Excel spreadsheet, we've got red columns. And these are mandatory fields that we need to populate and yellow ones, which are optional. And uh, what we can also do is uh, tag them for project transactions and, uh, and funds for charity companies if, uh, if that's what you want to do. So that's a sales invoice, and if I look at the purchase invoice, it's pretty, pretty much exactly the same. But we can see that this invoice has multiple lines on it. So what the import will then do is create a header record with those fives on top. So let's get rid of that and go into the import facility. I'll start a new log file, and I've just selected the sales and purchase invoices, and I'll just run that. It will go and find the Excel spreadsheet, which we looked at and it will then put it into the mobile to Sage company. And there it is, it's gone through, it's created those invoices and we're done. I can also see if there were any errors, which there weren't, and also look at all the success. So I can see 13 or 14 were posted correctly. Come out of that, and I'll now just go into the Sage account, and look at the activity, and if I go to the very bottom, there it is, there are 13 and 14. And as you can see, these are multi-line invoices that have been correctly amalgamated with a header. And if I go to the customer record and look at that, go to the bottom and there it is, sales invoice 13 and 14. Again, they've been consolidated and put onto the same line. Brilliant, dead easy. So thank you for your time and um, interest in uh, Excel to Sage. Please feel free to download the free down, um, free trial and contact me uh, in case you have any queries or requirements. Thank you.